What's up, y'all? It is the 29th of March, 2015. How is each and every one of you doing? So, you're on the back end of your weekend. So let's do this in reverse. I hope your week was fine. I hope that you was able to sidestep the negativity and see where you're going. So it's bright and early this morning, and for some, it's the morning after, and it seems like the day is always brighter, because now you've opened the door, and you've walked through it, new experiences, new and profound revelations. I want to put this video out because I know that some of you are starting to understand what I was trying to convey in my videos. First and foremost, I am forever humbled because See, I see your word. I do. And you deserve... Let me not be rude. You deserve to be happy. So yeah, it is the morning after. Some of y'all are starting to do something different. And that's to embrace your courage. Because... You have clarity that has come into your life unbeknownst in many ways, and you can't turn a blind eye to it. So now you got to make a choice. Do you choose to do something convenient and to turn a blind eye, or do you embrace what is being revealed? Because it's all a choice. That's why we have free will. So, we're in the midst of spring, right? Don't feel like that, do it. <laughs> I know. I know some of y'all are still dealing with the remnants of the snow, the winter. And uh, it's still pretty cool here in Virginia Beach. But that's okay, though, because just think about the flowers that are coming. Yeah, I know. I, too, am one of them that going to deal with that pollen. Um, but you know what? It's all going to fall in place, and, and everything is going to be how it should be for the summer, and it should be blessed. So it's the morning after, y'all. Some of y'all are doing some soul searching right now. Some of you are waking up where you once laid your head and you realize that you, it's not that you could not find slumber, but you really understand that there was a whole lot of discomfort going on. And it wasn't because of the environment that was placed before you. It was the fact that you were in the wrong environment. So it's the morning after. You got to make a choice. And you know me, I'm going to be your greatest cheerleader on this one. If you spend one day, one second, unhappy, not grounded, questioning your self-worth, not knowing your purpose, or feeling that you are alone, that is one second too long. So it is the morning after because 
you know what? What do I always convey to you? See, your legacy was already written when you took your first breath. But I also understand that we all, we're spiritual beings first, but we are human. And we go through peaks and battles. But I've come to learn in my walk that there are also blessings found in disappointment. I know some of y'all say, well, wait a minute, what are you talking about, Gerald? There ain't no blessing and no disappointment because there's some pain there. There's some emotions that I ain't ready to deal with. How can I find a blessing in that? Number one, it's time for you to go within yourself. See, the truth of the matter is, see, society wants us all to walk around deaf, dumb, and blind. See, society knows that as long as I keep you emotionally and mentally broken, oh, guess what? The money going to flow because you're not grounded. And you know how that is. When you're upset, what do we do? We want to eat. We want to go spend money that should go to something else more important. We try to find that distraction just to take the pain away, only to turn around and have to go right back to clean up the mess. That ain't your walk. That ain't your walk. So now, you about to embrace the real you. And you have this fire in your spirit. That ain't nothing but your spirit, by the way. That's that little boy and that little girl inside you saying, yes, it's my time. No more are the days that I can be silent about being mistreated. No more are the days that I'm going to allow someone to treat me any kind of way other than what I rightfully deserve. So, yes, it's the morning after. And it's a beautiful morning because your life is about to, to turn. But you've got to have courage to take that first foot, that first foot, and put it down in the direction that you wish to go. But make sure, before you take that step, you allow your higher power to guide you. Because guess what? He loves you. Now, you might have a different uh, deity of, you know, and, and I'm not about that, but for me, my higher power is my Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I've come to learn? Through my peaks and valleys, I look back in my life. I always, first of all, I start and end my day the same way, and that's in prayer. I spend a great deal of my time, no matter what I'm doing, praying in the behalf of those that I connected to. May it be physically, indirectly, or spiritually, because someone prayed for me, and I'm going to pray for you. You might be going through something right now, and every, you know, one more prayer, hey, you're getting hurt. You know, it might be that one that becomes that linchpin to change and open up the floodgates to your heart to wash away that darkness in your spirit, that anger that is on your spirit. See, I know some of y'all right now that you have got this venomous disposition that the people that really love you want to embrace you, but they can't because you're so broken. And rightfully so, because you've seen this page turn time and time again. You've seen, you're at a point where you're like, look, you know what? This don't work for me, so I need to take measures in my hands. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But Shouldn't those measures be investing in you positively? Maybe 
this is the period of your life that you're about maintenance. You're doing the thing, you're investing in your life so that the things that you put on the back burner, may it be your health, may it be your emotional state, maybe your communicational skills. Because see, you understand that communication is not a mastered art. Therefore, you must always practice. And the greatest form of communication is listening. And sometimes, some of the greatest messages are conveyed without words. So it's very important that you're able to identify what you need from what you want. So yes, this is the morning after. See, I know right now some of you are reflecting, you're driving. You're reflecting on what you did 24 hours ago and the experience you shared with that person. But the only problem with that is that connection, though it was sensual, though it was titillating, it was still not fulfilling and there is a void because you knew that that was something you wasn't supposed to do and you're saying to yourself I don't want to do this again why am I doing the same thing over and over and over again but the only thing that changes is the face the participant is the morning after It's now that you look inside your heart. See, here's a question I want to ask each and every one of y'all. You know, because I had to get there myself. It took me a long time to understand. This took me almost 25 years, and I hope that that is not something that you have to experience. But I'm a firm believer of this. See, your higher power, I know, is my Lord Jesus Christ makes a way when there is no way. And sometimes he will keep you in a season because he knows you're not ready or you have not learned the message the, from the experience. So it's kind of like in school, you know, you think in your mind, your intellect, you're ready to graduate, but really you don't have all the tools to step out into your life. Yeah, I know I'm talking to somebody. So instead of looking at how you got there, you're focused on the participants and not looking within yourself because it hurts too much to do so. That's why I'm a firm believer when you hear that cliche, to get over someone is to get under someone. You know what? That is the biggest disservice that you can do. Because you're not allowing. When you choose to go that route, guess what you do? Number one, you open up a spiritual door with the next person. And you align yourself with whatever their burdens is. Now, keep this in mind. Let's just say that was a common practice for you. You just... Chalk your losses, so to speak, and keep it moving, but not allow yourself to reflect. Do you realize the probability of repeating? Yes. See, all things come full circle, y'all. You do. You, if you don't realize, you'll come to see that where you begin is where you end. You just have a fresh perspective. So. Isn't it important that you have allowed yourself to step into the, the real you? If you're tired of feeling that burden in your heart, if you're tired of feeling like your life has no clarity, if you're tired of feeling misunderstood, if you're tired of attracting the people that will never see your value and worth. It's time for you to do something different because you already know what you don't need. So why won't you do something that can guarantee that success? 
And that's investing in you. Maybe this is the season that you will have the clarity. See, this is one thing I've come to learn with, with my walk. See, when I decided to be transparent about my life, two things happened. I noticed that my, my, my circle drastically changed. Yes, it, it did. It, it changed because I was being too real. Not being disrespectful, it was because of the fact that, no, what you were witnessing was a man. Come on, Queens. There's more than a man than was found in his wallet and between his legs. That's why I always convey to you this. Stop looking for a man. Stop. I know somebody saying, well, Gerald, I don't want to do that because I, my biggest fear is I don't want to be by myself. You may have seen that in your family. You may have seen that in your friends. That was a common denominator. That was the tie that binds y'all because they're all broken. But what you don't see is someone saying, you know what? Because I see my worth and love you, love myself more. I'm going to let you grow by letting you go. But here's a caveat in that. At the end of the day, you don't have control. No, you don't. You don't have control. He do. That's right. That's why people come back. You know why they come back? It's to validate your change and growth. It's also to give you clarity of the connection. Because you can't, what's the point on being with someone that refuses to grow? Hmm? What is the point in that? You could be the best lover in the world. But it don't matter if you don't have emotional safety. What is the, that is the foundation of being passionate, which is a derivative of being compassionate, which is also connected to being empathetic. But you won't have none of that until you decide to employ that in yourself. That means you got to be transparent with yourself. So in other words, what I'm trying to convey to each and every one of you, if you are tired of the drama, if you're tired of being disappointed, if you are tired of going to sleep to wake up and not be rested, so you're not rested because you're not at peace. You're not at peace because you won't be open to yourself. And the only way you can be... Until you get that right, you got to learn to forgive. You got to learn to forgive yourself. You got to go inside that heart and allow the healing to take place. Let me tell you something. See, society wants to prostitute you. My queens, come on now. You think society really cares about what you think? If they did, why did they put so much emphasis in the fashion to make you look like a lady of the night? Mm -hmm. Why is it when you look at the TV, and I told you about the TV, it's made for TV, not made for life. That's why there's no spirituality on there. But when you look at it a little deeper, why is the, the top three biggest shows on TV right now always have a negative underlining on it? always have deception connected to it, always have manipulation and control on it. Why? Because these people are all broken, and they're using financial gain as a means of controlling their environment, which, as you already know, if it's not blessed, what happens? It falls apart. Why? Because it's not yoke. That's what it is. See, at the end of the day, your higher power is going to get his way, with or without your consent sooner that you decide to love yourself. See, some of y'all can't even look yourself in the mirror and tell you that. Some of you can't even, I, and, and, and you know what's sad about it is because you allowed someone to have more influence on your life than you. 
and maybe because that relationship, that that dynamic, that wasn't a relationship, it was a dynamic that was agreed upon because you signed up on it because it takes two and it was of a physical nature and because you longed for that connection you said well you know what it's a work in progress and you gave it a benefit of the doubt but you noticed the more and more that you were sucked into it more and more problems came maybe you maybe that your money started acting up maybe you started seeing physical disclaimers come out then there's a lot of drama around the environment was like I don't need to be up in here and you didn't know how to walk away why because you were afraid see there's one thing I've learned in my walk see when you put him first you ain't got no friend you, you ain't got no fear you don't have fear you know why because you trust your discernment your discernment will make will give you the tools to make sound decisions how about this one learning to say no that doesn't mean that you're being mean it actually means that you're allowing yourself to review because guess what the word no is also subject to review it doesn't mean that it can't happen maybe it's not this is not the time but when it comes to your life don't you think you're worth it seriously so let's keep it 100 my queens you didn't realize you guys have been on been a you've been under attack for the last hundred years it goes way back and there's been a disfranchise for a long time. But now it's more, even more in your face. It is hidden visibly because what's, attack, what's under attack is the way you think. You know how it is. If I, can, if I can change your perceptions, I can change your actions. So let's get that back into priority. I need you. To be honest with yourself, I need you to let that pain out. Some of you are so broken and so prideful, you won't even allow yourself to cry because you're afraid that if you allow your emotions to come to the surface, that you're going to lose footing in your own life, your life. So you rather hold on to the pain. Do you not realize? There is more to your emotional, uh, your emotional, uh, my, my mouth is not working, y'all, you got to bear with me. You have more emotional descriptions or displays than just happy, sad. You do know that, right? And that's one of the, that is one of the blocks as men have. Because, see, society has taught men to compartmentalize our emotions, to not embrace them, and they wonder why we make impulsive decisions. That's why society thinks that, no, all you got to do is put a big butt in front of his face, and he'll throw his wallet on the floor. That's not the case. Never was. But if you don't see your worth and value, you will sign up for anything. Only to waste your precious time aligning yourself with someone that will never see your worth just something to do my queens let me let me let me put this in perspective for y'all I want you to hear this loud and clear when you were born hear my words when you were born when God breath breathe the life into you your lungs you gotta bear with me my mouth is not working but see this comes from spirit and nothing broke down this is what he wants me to tell you someone right now is listening right now and I'm speaking to your heart your heart is doing like this your, your throat is closing up because you you feeling all 
you're feeling shook. Yeah, I'm talking to you. God loves you. It's time for you to get right. But when God made you, he didn't make a mistake. He made you exactly as you are. And you're beautiful. See, you, if you, every time you turn around and invest in a false image of what man put projects out there, I'm saying man is a general statement. First of all, anything that's done with man's hands comes with an expiration date. You'll figure that out later. But when it comes to your life, you're priceless. You're priceless. You were born with everything that you needed inside, starting with your spirit. But you got to feed that. You got to feed that. You got to love yourself. You got to see your worth and respect yourself. You have to. Because until you do, guess what? You're going to keep attracting the things you don't need. That's the trade off. Ain't no secret in that. That's, that's, once again, hidden in plain sight. So I need you to love you. Yes. That's why society has been trying to convince you, my kings and my queens. Well, actually, very prevalent now with you, my queens. You guys sleep around. Y'all sleep around for sport. And you have this mindset, well, if the men can do it, I can do it too. But here's the problem with that. See, a man will, and I say that loosely because because you got a, a male body, you still act like a little boy. That don't make you a mind. That don't make you a man. And if, if God ain't in your life, you damn sure ain't a man. You're not. Because if he if he was, you would fear him, and you would act your, your life accordingly. That's just how it is. And after a while, he gets tired of it, and he will sit you down. He'll actually say, okay, you, you don't want to, I've shown you things that you needed to take heed. You didn't want to do that. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to sit on over here in the cut, and, you know, everything that I was protecting you from, I'm going to let you go ahead and have it. Let you work your way through it. And when you get tired, and when you get tired of being tired, and I'll know. Because I already know what you're going to do before you think it. Then I'll come in. Because then that way I know that you're going to take what I'm conveying seriously. And and you should because it's your life. It's your life, y'all. We're not talking about, you know, a video game. You hit the reset button and start over. We're talking about your life. You are, you're not promised you're going to see tomorrow. You're not. So, you know, playing choosy lover, jumping in one bed running over across the street to jump in that car. You know, you playing Russian roulette with your mortality. And and when you think about it, all that does is place a burden on your heart. Cause you'll get to a point that light will go off. And you'll 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 come to understand You'll be like, you know what? It'll go from, yeah, I had all this fun. If that, that was a stimulating experience to be with them. It was short, but I'm glad I had the experience. To transitioning to, what was I thinking? Why did I give my most prized commodity, your body, to someone who will never invest in it? But guess what they will do? They'll leave a deposit. Yeah. They'll get up and keep on with their lives to leave you shook. Why do you think narcissists exist? Why do you think sociopaths exist? Why do you think people deal with bipolar episodes? See, all those things are under an umbrella called misery. The common denominator with all of them, they're progressive. Because the person is unable to speak their truth. See, that's the downside of compartmentalizing your emotions. Compartmentalizing 
your traumas. Yes. I know some of y'all are dealing with wounds that came from your mother, came from your father. I know, my queens, that's common. I understand that. Some of y'all are dealing with daddy issues, and that's the that was the catalyst of why you run around. You run around because you want someone to fill that void of where your daddy should be. But here's a kicker about it. Kicker on that one is for those who have their dad still living and breathing. The loving, the loving care that you need can be felt when you remove the resentment the pain that has that emotional wall up. Because see, in his eyes, if you have the blessing of having your your dad around, he can still help heal those wounds of long ago. So the question should be, why will not? Why will you not? You deserve that. Don't you deserve to feel emotionally safe? That's how the template is set. Because every, every woman, I say that loosely, sets her template of what a man is by her connection with her father. So if he's not there, you have a false sense of what a man is. And you go through life trying to figure it out. Leaving you broken, leaving you disappointed, leaving you feel alone, making you feel that men are not, all men are dogs. But let me tell you something, all men are not dogs, but the ones you attract may be, so there must be a likeness there. Otherwise, it would never happen. Take accountability for your life. See your worth. Love yourself more. And I guarantee you, when you make that declaration to allow yourself to heal, you will have a fresh perspective. You will have a calm and a peace unlike anything you've ever felt. And yes, there's a trade-off on that too. Those people that never had your interest, that were just buying times, I call them opportunities because that's exactly what they are. One by one by one, you're going to see them for who they are. And they're going to try to talk you off of that ledge because they can't afford for you to grow. They don't, they're convenient, you know, like a tick on a dog. They're like lax there because they don't want you to see life differently because they know that the moment that you decide to invest in yourself, you're going to leave. But that's okay because what did I say before? At the end of the day, you're not in control of it anyway because God's in control of who and what you experience. Yes, you have the you have the uh, the right to make choice because he gives us free will. But if your discernment is not in play, how can you truly make decisions that are sound for your life? Hmm? You, you know what's crazy about that? That's why stolen moments will never work. That's exactly what they're called because you're stealing from your time you're uh, you're just it's like getting a paycheck and you've cashed it and you roll the window down in your car and throw it out the window why would you do that why so think about your life think about your time something that can never give back get can never get can never come back that's why it's very imperative that whatever you invest or who you give it to, they see your worth. And guess what? You also come to a place where you'll understand those people 
that have always loved you. See, they see your worth. You know, they see your worth. They they want you to grow in, into the person they know that you are. But it's up to you to see it for yourself. So they're not going to impede in your journey. So they may have had to make the painful choice of walking from you. And the reason was not to be mean is because they didn't want to see you disrespect yourself because they already knew. You see, they can see through you too. You can't lie to them. You can try, but they know. Just like a parent to a child, they know. They know because it's pure. There's a pure connection of heart. Mm -hmm. And guess what? God always does this too. He will position you in a place that's discomfortable. And what will happen is, you will still have that connection with that person. And you will see them grow and evolve. But the only problem with that is, you're not a part of it. He's not doing that to punish you. He's showing you what can happen. You understand what I'm saying? He's showing you the he's showing you kind of prophetically what can be yours after the growth is done. How many times have you told someone in your mind or body, you say, you know what, the last time I'm gonna see them, I ain't gonna have nothing to do with them. And what happens? You constantly keep seeing them. Time keeps progressing, the years keep passing, and they keep growing. You know why? Because they got God in their life. And they respect his his precepts. They respect his boundaries and he they fear him. And they know that all things are through him. So they don't worry about what you do. They don't worry about it. They don't worry about who's in your life because they know that sooner or later the truth always comes to light because it ain't blessed and will fall from you. And in the interim of that, they pray on your behalf. They pray for your growth. They pray for your peace of mind. They pray for your healing of your body and in your environment. Why? Because they truly, unconditionally love you. But it cannot take root unless you do it yourself. Do you not think you're worth it? I do. So lastly, y'all. It's the morning after. Some of y'all realize that you can't do what you've been doing because you can't turn a blind eye anymore. You know that you've been self-sabotaging yourself oh so long and it's taking a toll on you. But guess what? You can get it back. You can get yourself right. My queens, my kings. Those insecurities that you have, start looking at them. The more you look at it, the sting comes from it. The empowerment will come from it, and you will begin to grow because you will become authentic. So be transparent to yourself first. Place God first in everything you do, and you can't go wrong. And the people that are divinely connected to you, you'll see them again. You will. You will. But I'm a firm believer on this. Let me throw this disclaimer too, y'all. See, I used, I used to always convey this in my videos long ago. See, there are going to be people in your life that are going to sign up for your journey. And it's called learning your life. But guess what? There are going to be some people that are not going to see it to its completion because they have not done what it what is needed for themselves. That's why I always will convey this. See, an opportunist don't need your help to expose himself. But it is your responsibility to see what is being shown. So, it's the morning after. You ready to grow? You ready to love on that beautiful you? You ready to claim your place in your life? And yeah, don't worry about those people in the cheap seats. Because what's going to happen after the work is done? And there is no stopwatch when it comes to your healing. You know, that's why I always will convey this. It's time to 
You're like a computer to defrag what's going on in your emotional state. So, why won't you find emotional safety and talk to someone that you can open yourself up and see what's really going on? The worst thing that can happen out of that is validate that you're on path or show you a new one. Because isn't it, isn't it your responsibility to be the best you anyway? Now, don't worry about those people in the cheap seats like I keep saying. Because guess what? They're going to be begging to hear you breathe. Because, see, the person that you destined to become is not the person that you are now. But the decisions that you make today is going to impact who you're going to become. And, oh, yes, who you once were, oh, that ain't you. Now you're strong enough to look at that. Yeah, you, we make some crazy, bad decisions sometimes. But guess what? Every moment that you have a, uh, 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 you're able to take another breath in those beautiful lungs of yours, that's another day you can change. That's another day that you can take that step to your purpose. What did I tell you about that? If your circle, the, the people that you hold dear, Ask them, what is your purpose? And if they can't tell you that, it's because they don't know themselves. And if they don't know themselves, how can they value you? Huh? Come on now. Treat your life as it should be. Precious. You know, come on now. Love yourself. You are worth it. And watch. Watch how these next six months play out, y'all. Matter of fact, remember this date six months from now and watch. That's God. I'm just telling you that. And something's telling me right now to, to throw this out. I know somebody right now, I feel your energy is saying there's been some great hurt and sorrow and some wrong, and you realize the errors in your judgment, and that's what it was, because you didn't have clarity, and you were going off of what you were working with, and you wish that you had some of the connections that you had. You didn't know. It's kind of like seeing a diamond from a rock. You know, I could put some money, I could put some mud on on a, on a head of a diamond, and it'll look like a rock on the street. But until I wash it off, I can't see that luster. And to keep this in mind, before it was a diamond, it was a lump of coal. So it had to go through some pressure. It had to go through some transformation so it could shine. That should be your heart. That should be your worth. That should be the personification of you because you are priceless. So don't shortchange yourself. If you're with somebody, if your scenario, your environment feels like you got pulled teeth to feel accepted, that ain't the environment you're supposed to be in. Trust and believe that. Love you. Claim your life. But always put them first. You can't go wrong. And trust and believe when I say this. In the intended time and moment, you will be connected and share those moments that are intended with the intended people. Especially the ones that love you. Prepare for that. Prepare for that. <laughs> That's how you do. Okay, y'all. I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. A blessed week. Sidestep that negativity. Because I see your worth. I really do. And because of that, it helps me discern mine. I'd love to hear from you. Like, don't like. But the fact that you heard this message is all that matters. Have a blessed week, guys. See your worth. Love yourself. And, of course, place them first.